Well, in this video, we're going to be making these cool custom tires. It is not as hard as you think. The first thing we need to do is to make this cool inner uh, rims. And these shapes can, can look like whatever you want. The trick is to go over here down to shape generators. And in the shape generators is this thing called an extrusion. So the extrusion that I have looks like a cylinder at first. But in the, the drop down here, you'll see that it's extruding a circle until we start to change the shape. the shape will match whatever it is that we make in this. Here's a, here's a simple one to make uh, a cool design. These little dots will make it curve. Oh, here we go. Cool. All right, so now that I have a, any shape, what I need to do is use the duplicate button. So here's the duplicate button. If you've never used it, what you need to do is you need to select what it is you're going to duplicate and click it. Now, don't click anywhere else. Don't, don't click on the work plane. It's going to remember what you do to this object. So I am going to simply rotate it and shift it over here. Boy, that's strange. Now, when I hit duplicate again, it rotates and shifts again, and it rotates and shifts again. And I can click it a whole bunch of times. I do not know why my first shape looks like that, but I can just click it and delete it. We're good. <clears throat> so now I've got this really neat uh, pattern for the inner spokes. And the smart move right now is to highlight it and group that. I'm going to be doing things with it and having it grouped right off the bat is very handy. So there's the inside. Now we just need to make the outside of the wheel. So back here in basic shapes, we're just going to grab a cylinder. I'm going to make it larger. And instead of trying to guess at where it should go, I'm going to just hold down the shift key and make it larger than the thing that I just made. By holding down the shift key, you can see that it's, it's evenly getting larger. If I don't hold down the shift key, it'll, it'll skew. So I'm going to hold down the shift key, make it some size larger. I'll have to bring it down. And I'm also going to put a hole in the center of that. I held shift down again. I'm going to hold it right now. There we go. Make it, if you want thin walls, if you want thick walls. So here we have it. Now you can see that there's these uh, flat sides on my wheel. I'm going to even those out a little bit by increasing my sides. Now it's a lot more round. I'll do that on the hole too. If I take, the, take it all the way down, you can, it gets even worse. There that is. I'm also going to turn the bevel on for this wheel here. You'll see that it kind of shapes it a little bit. It, it just happens to be the perfect wheel shape. So now that I have those three parts, I need to start grouping them together. I'm going to get this wheel out of the way, <clears throat> the spokes out of the way for a second. But these need to be perfectly centered inside of each other. And I've seen a lot of students spend a lot of time trying to guess instead of just using this align button. So now that I have these two highlighted, I highlight both of them. I'm going up to align and I can center align this. And I don't want to left align it. I don't want to right align it. Center align it here. So now that's perfectly in the center. That hole can be grouped. It'll just carve it out bring this back in. Looks like it's a little too small. I'm, I'm going to resize it just a hair, holding down shift again. Now the exact same deal here. I don't want it to be close to the center. I want it to be exactly in the center. So I'm going to highlight both of these two pieces, 
go to the align key, center align it, center align it. So there's the basic part of the wheel. <clears throat> now if you take a look, the tread on these two wheels, I kind of cheated. This is the letter X curved all the way around, and this is the letter M curved all the way around. Here's how I did that. We go back to shape generators on the side, and we grab this custom font text ring down here at the bottom. This is going to let me make text in whatever shape that I want. So maybe for this example I will use a slash. It'll look like a mud tire maybe. And I need to make it go all the way around almost 365 degrees. So, <clears throat> here's the tread I'm going to use on this thing. I'm going to hold down the shift key. <clears throat> Get it close. I'll get that purple text close to where I want it. I'll resize it, holding down the shift key again. And uh, you guessed it, we're going to highlight all of this and align it. I don't want to top align it. I want to center align it and center align it. A lot of students will click on it and say, oh, my align key isn't working. You have to highlight all of the things you're going to align before that will turn up. So now that that's aligned, I can just do some final, final touches. Let's take this and make it match the inside of the wheel a little bit better. <clears throat> right now you can see that there is kind of some overhang there. So I'm just going to raise it up, lower it down in, like that. I wonder if you could also change on the if different fonts will do different things. Thickness. I don't think they have different fonts. Well, that's it. Just made another custom wheel. Let's get rid of this orange, turn that to black. Let's get rid of the purple and make it almost black. Yeah. Once I group it, I'm going to need to make it multicolor. So it all turn gray. Now that I grouped it, all I need to do to make it multicolor is to click on the color and there's a checkbox down here. Show all colors. And there's another wheel. I think they're pretty fun. I hope this was interesting. And if you make something cool, awesome. If you're a student of mine, I can't wait to see what you're making. And uh, have a great rest of your day.